Hey y'all, this is Tyler Blake with TylerBlakeArt.com again, and this is Let's Draw Presidential Candidates as Zombies, episode number 10. Uh, we're starting off today with Wayne Nassam, who is the current mayor of Miramar, Florida. He also has been a small businessman, although I don't know what his business was or, or is, if he's still doing it on the side. And, um, of course, he was a presidential candidate, and he used to be a professional football player. So, I think he's probably the only one of those we have running this time around. Uh, so, um, in one humorous moment, during his, his campaign did not do well at all. He, he never broke 1% in the polls, and he didn't qualify for any of the Democratic debates. Um, but in one humorous moment, his campaign announced that they had raised $5 in the third quarter of 2019. Um, they later corrected that. It was it was actually supposed to be $15,000, which is better by about $14,995, but it was still $300,000 less than the next lowest fundraising candidate. So I, I thought that was kind of a, you know, that, that, that was pretty funny. Especially that they made a mistake and announced that they actually earned five dollars. Wow! So, <clears throat> anyhow, um, if you have followed these at all, you're familiar with my process where I go through and start laying down the dark values and then start adding in some color around that. Um, this, when you when you do a long project a lot of the time you know part of the point is that you improve you know you're, you're a better artist by the time you finish than when you started and that's a really good thing but also it can be inconvenient because you want to also have consistency from your you know throughout the entire project and i, I kind of knew that i would figure things out more especially because i'm new to watercolor i, I kind of figured that there would be some things that would come up during the process of this that would, you know, work them, work their way into my normal way of, of producing art. And on this one, I started using a, a darker gray to add more value, and also, um, it, it just occurred to me to add some dark circles around the eyes since these folks are dead. So I, I and I really liked the way it turned out. So I, I might actually go back and darken up some of the values on some of the early er, uh, candidates and also work in those those darkened eye circles. We'll, we'll see how it goes and all that, but um, anyhow, uh, I'm coming up on... There's the finished version and the sketch, the ink, and the reference photo. So coming up next we have Amy Klobuchar. And she is um, supposed to be known as the quote-unquote Minnesota Nice Senator from, um, let's see, Minnesota. Uh, but in actuality, she has the highest staff turnover rate in Washington, D.C. because her actual reputation is as someone who is unbearably cruel and emotionally abusive to her staff um, with temper tantrums and outbursts and all of that. So, maybe not so Minnesota nice after all. <clears throat> um, there, there was a, an article in a periodical where some of her uh, staff, it, it was the, the title was something like, Terrified Staff Reveal That Amy Klobuchar Is Just Like Trump. <laughs> and uh, I, I just thought that was humorous. So, anyway, especially with this, um, and I, I didn't know that until months and months and months after I had picked this reference photo. In fact, I, I just was reading about that last night when I was looking, because I, I try to find something humorous to say about the candidate, and uh, I, you know, I picked this image back in, like, January or something like that, so maybe December. <clears throat> so, anyways, it, that just kind of matches perfectly. Uh, I'll, you know, she could just be hungry for your brains, but, um, Anyhow, I'm uh, just kind of going along through here and adding my uh, my stuff in. Um, if you hear a lot of bangs and booms in the background, of course, it's just uh, Fourth of July is right around the corner, and people are growing impatient with their fireworks. Um, you know, people have been 
a lot of places people have been cooped up for months and months, so they're kind of blowing off some steam right now. Let's see. Um, what else? I uh, I'm happy with this one. I, I haven't. I have. I have some that I like more than others just because they, I think they are more dynamic or they just kind of pop more, but I, I wouldn't say I've been unhappy with any of these. I, I think probably the one that tickles my funny bone the least is probably John Hickenlooper that I did a while back because it, I don't know, it just, it just didn't kind of, I don't know if it wasn't, if I didn't find it as humorous or... Or what, but anyway, there you go. Um, speaking of stuff that I do find humorous, though, right now I'm working on two images of Biden and Trump together, and these are kind of toned down. Um, they're they're not gory, but, I mean, they are zombies in it. Um, looking to do some advertising soon, and, uh, yeah, I've got to keep that clean. Anyways, this is just about wrapped up now, so here's the finished version. And the sketch with the blue line, the clean inks, and the original uh, reference photo. So my name is Tyler Blake, and I approve this message. Thanks for watching.